Hey, MP, are you needed in the press room? Can I get a, hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we could just skip the small talk then. Yeah, follow me. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're gonna wanna ask questions about how you played, so if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna wanna call on John Luck. If you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna wanna call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If Got you're feeling it. confident, you're gonna wanna call on Nate White, the man fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you messed up even a little bit, he's gonna be all over that. Also, he's gonna have a couple Shep questions to throw your way, so if you want to get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's, so if you want to brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. Okay. All right. Um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose for us if you were me? Like, is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah. What you say in that room is going to go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no. But there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, any more advice you got? <laughs> Lots, but you're needed inside. Go. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> <clears throat> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. Just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press. And I th you're... I think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you uh, you really fought through that one. Um, but thank you, it's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're gonna miss deadlines. I so. got you, I'm in there. Come on, let's go. Hey, everyone. All right, man, you up first right here. Congrats on your first NBA win, MP. Thanks, Nate. So what would you say you struggled with the most out there? I mean, after your first NBA action, is there a specific part of your game you, you know you need to work on? You know, Nate, man, you are a real ray of sunshine, you know that? <laughs> I try. So, you don't have anything to work on? Whoa, 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 I'm not gonna let you twist my words around like that. So, of course, I've got things that I need to work on. Who doesn't? You know, I just think it's funny that you lead off with such a negative question. You know, you could've asked me anything. What are you comfortable with, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you choose to start negatively? <laughs> well, I don't think that's very interesting. I bet you don't. Well, so, is that a no comment? Uh, no, I got you, man. I got you. Um, for me right now, the hardest part is just gelling with my teammates. My game, which I'm always confident in, uh, but this is a team sport, you know, so I got to figure out how to fit my game into what the team needs me to do. You know, obviously we got the dub tonight, so that's a huge plus, so I'm not worried about it. But, you know, that's probably what needs to be worked on long term, just gelling it all together. Okay, next question. John. 
There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day, but I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Could you speak a little bit about that? Community. Community is everything to me, so it's very important for me to have the fans on my side. You know, with that being said, it's only up to me to give them reason to cheer, to smile, to have something to look forward to. You know, and with the season only just starting, you know, I'm not surprised if they're not fully on board yet. Okay, but is it fair to you to have to prove yourself like that? Is there any part of you that wishes you were perhaps given the benefit of the doubt? Uh, I mean, is it fair? I don't know. John, life ain't fair. <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Hmm. Wise words. Truly. You know, uh, but as far as, you know, getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, I'm more comfortable being in a position where I got to prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you got to prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow. So, I'm not really worried about it. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I'm sure the fans will love that quote, MP. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for your time. Anytime, brother. All right, that's it for today. See the next time, y'all. Hey, uh, yeah, just got off the phone with Othello Akram's assistant, and uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean. That's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. Hey, Olive. MP, how are you? Well, I can't complain. I'm a little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akram today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akram? Yeah, well, you, you, you've been working here for some time, you know? I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool. Thank you, but uh, okay. So, what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people. I'm not psychic. I, it's it's kind of the same difference, a little bit. It's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you gonna be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um, same elevator as usual. Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. MP, come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves, <laughs> Mr. Akpim. What'd I tell you about that? Othella, please. I mean, my bad, you got it. So, about Shep. Boy, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we'd take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked to Freddie. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative. 
You're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the stars. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever. My door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpill. Othella. Don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. See you, coach.